The Children, Youth and Families Department has been a hot button issue at the state capitol. And our reporter Julian Badas found out today it still is. Julian, what was the message that people spoke about? I've been here at the state capitol covering stories all week, but this is the first time I've heard so many legislators, advocates and people in the community demand changes to a state department like the CYFD. There are children who should be in a home, in a safe home, with trained and loving parents. Barbara Yell. Director of Lighthouse Foster and Adoption Support says that is not the case with what she has seen. Yale says she has worked with CYFD to get kids the right care, but she says there isn't enough foster care parents to help or resources to offer them. Some of the most horrific cases of child abuse that we've seen nationwide are happening here in New Mexico, and that is unacceptable. Legislators standing behind everyone who spoke out, regardless of party affiliation. We hear you. We're in the community providing services so we know about the issues personally. In the crowd, foster kids, parents, and legislators attending this conference to demand reform to the state's child welfare system. Some of the children who have been through the system say they've had to look out for themselves. I've set up all my doctor's appointments and I've gotten myself therapy. I had nobody to go to when I needed help. Yale says there is no time better than now to address the issue. Something has to happen. It's time to fix it. And the time is now. Now a spokesperson with CYFD did get back to me. In an email, they said the CYFD team is working tirelessly every day with legislators and is working closely on House Bill 461. They say this is a bill that would help transform the child welfare system in the state. In Santa Fe, Julian Paras, KOAT, Action 7 News.